Constitution of Kenya and all laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, and that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic without fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, and or other influence. In the exercise of the function entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, reserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, and Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. Lieutenant General John Omenda Mukarawai, Vice Chief of Defense Forces. I, John Omenda Mukarawai, Vice Chief of Defense Forces, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President of, and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, that I will obey, preserve, protect, defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, the integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted in to me, I will be at all times and to the best of my ability, respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and people of the Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God.
Major General Fatuma Hamed Kaiti, Commander of Kenya Air Force. I, Fatma Gaiti Ahmed, Commander of the Kenya Air Force, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, dignity of the people of Kenya that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect uphold preserve protect uphold and defend the constitution a people and the republic of kenya and obey all laws orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. Major General Paul Ogwar Otieno, Commander of the Kenya Navy. I, Major General Paul Ogwar Otieno, Commander of the Kenya Navy, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times, and to the best of my ability, respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution 
people and Republic of Kenya and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. Your Excellency, with the highest ranking military officer responsible for overseeing the Kenya Defense Forces duly installed alongside the Vice Chief of Defense Forces and two service commanders, the defense and protection of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of this Republic is now committed to their charge. It is now my humble duty and profound privilege to invite Your Excellency to convey your congratulations to the Chief of Defense Forces. Vice Chief of Defense Forces, the two service commanders and all the promoted officers and thereafter with your Excellency's most kind and gracious intelligence to grant the new leadership of the military affairs community. May we all arise for this section of the President. Please, let's take our seats. General Charles Kahariri, General John Omenda, General uh, Fatuma Ahmed, General Otieno, and all the other officers that this morning you have taken charge of the leadership of the Kenya Defense Forces. Congratulations. And my very best wishes as you assume your responsibilities in the service of our nation. I have only three things uh, to commend you. The appointment that you have been given and the mandate and assignment that has been bestowed on you is to serve the Republic and the people of Kenya. It is a solemn responsibility. It is a responsibility put on your shoulders. You will exercise authority, but you must remember that exercising authority comes with huge responsibility and responsibility comes with accountability. It is my expectation and that of the people of Kenya that the authority you will exercise will come with enormous acknowledgement of responsibility on your shoulders and the accountability that comes with it. Our Kenya Defense Forces has a history, a history of professionalism, a history of loyalty, commitment, and a, a, a history that speaks many positive things 
about the Republic of Kenya. I exhort you to live up to that history and hold the Kenya Defense Forces in the high esteem that the people of Kenya hold the Kenya Defense Forces. Let me repeat for the avoidance of doubt and in line with your oath of office that you will serve the people of Kenya. None of you has been appointed to serve your communities, regions, faiths, or any other partisan pursuit. Your mandate, your responsibility, your assignment is to the people of Kenya. Secondly, you will have officers, men and women serving under you. Be firm, but fair, so that we can grow the Kenya Defense Forces and make it an institution that will provide for the security and integrity of our nation. You have a most important responsibility in the protection of our country, its citizens, and our sovereignty as a nation. And finally, beyond the mandate you have is to assist the other security agencies in the execution of their mandate and in the overall security of the country as is required of you by the Constitution. Otherwise, I want to congratulate you and your families for the responsibilities that you have assumed. You have my support, my prayers, my goodwill as you discharge your responsibilities and the people of Kenya have tremendous goodwill for the military. Um, so on behalf of uh, the people and the government of Kenya, again, let me wish you my very best wishes, my uh, support in every way that is uh, required of me and um, to wish you well in your new responsibilities. Um, I have had conversations with you on the teamwork and cooperation that is expected of us. You are aware of the situation the country faces Immediately after this function, we're going to have a conversation on how KDF is going to lead the other security agencies in managing the serious environmental and climate change situation that we face as a country at this moment. I have discussed this with the new CDF, and shortly we will be asking the KDF to roll out its capabilities to support other agencies in dealing with the situation we have in the country at the moment. So again, 
congratulations. My very best wishes. You have our support and you have our prayers. Asante sana. Let us all rise for the national anthem. Excellency, sir, we request for a brief moment of refreshments as we prepare the area for a brief photo session to your right, sir. Welcome, sir.